This video is going to describe how to export a cut file from Fusion 360 for uh, Mach 3. Um, over here, I have my project over here. If it says offline here, in my experience, you just need to restart the program. Uh, it takes forever for Fusion 360 to start up if it has a bad connection, so keep that in mind. Uh, in my folder here, <coughs> this is for a project I'm working on right now called Utopia Temple. I created a folder called Cut Files, so this is going to be all of my cut layouts. Um, and then you pick whichever one you have down here. Um, currently I'm managing this in an external spreadsheet, so the people that I'm making this video for will be able to know which file to pick based on the spreadsheet. Anyways, I have this one right here. You can see there's this tab. It's, uh, well, it's not a very helpful description up there, but I happen to know that this file needs to be exported. So. Um, if you come to this button here, there's a bunch of different options. The one that you want to export is CAM. And then, basically, there's going to be some model here. Uh, for this purpose, it's a flat pattern cut out of plywood, and there's going to be a bunch of different um, different profiles, and you can see all the different profiles. Uh, so anyways, to export it, you just click on Setup, and it's important that you click on Setup, because if you click on one of these individual ones, it will just export that one individual process, which can be useful. If you want to just cut out one of these parts, you can just select, um, let's say you, you want to export this part here, so you select that one and um, probably control and you'll get both, and then you can export both, right? So you can see that if we just wanted to cut this one part out, it would, it would just export that. Um, but anyways, we want to uh, export this whole sheet. So you click on Setup and it makes this box, and that box is, in this case, it's a 4 by 8 foot sheet of plywood. Um, if you want to check it, you can click on Simulate, and then it brings up this window here, um, and you can, um, you can, uh, this one has the stock, so that's the sheet of plywood, and then you can just click down here and click Play, and it will simulate cutting out the parts. Um, so that's pretty useful just to check to make sure that you got everything set up correctly, but I'm not going to get into the details beyond that right now, so anyways, we'll close that. Uh, to export, you come up here, um, that was simulate, and then we have post process. So click on post process. It pulls up this window. I'm actually really glad it pulled up this window because it only does sometimes, I think after Fusion updates. I don't know why it says that it's invalid or doesn't exist, but you have to click yes so that it finds the new, um, the new profile. Um, so click yes, and I'll just go back to its default setting. Now, we're using Mach 3, so you want to pick, there's there's a huge list here, but Mach 3 should be selected um, on, uh, if you've selected it before, it uses whatever was selected before. So Mach 3 mil is this one. Um, and then you have to go and make sure for Mach 3 that you turn use radius to off. Now, usually it will uh, default to that, but sometimes, um, like when the window just comes up, that goes away, so you, you have to make sure that use radius is, is set to no. Alright, type in whatever your program name here is, just so that you know when you're running the program. Um, I use something, I know this is my exoskeleton. Um, so I'll type in exoskeleton there. And um, I uncheck this off this box here often, open NC and file editor. But I'll leave it checked for right now just to show you where this comes up later. So then you click Post. Um, I'll just save this one to my desktop. And then you type in a, a different name here. So normally I type in the sheet number. So this is number, it's project 093, sheet number 16, exoskeleton. All right, so then I click Save. And then it's Post, and then you can open it up in Mach 3. Um, and if you've selected to open up in the file editor, it'll open up your code right here. Um, I don't have Mach 3 on this laptop. This is just my design laptop. But anyways, you can see up, up here that the very first line uh, is exoskeleton. So that's what I typed in the first time, and then it tells all the tool information. And anybody who's run Mach 3 before will be familiar with this part of it. So I'm not going to get into that. And uh, that's it. That's how you export for Mach 3 from Fusion 360.